In this video, I'll introduce you to 10 exciting PLA filaments that have special mechanical or visual properties due to various modifications. From very light PLA to glowing and extremely impact resistant filament. There is something for everyone in this video. So stay tuned here at Yantech Engineering. Please note that you will find the links to all the filaments shown here in the video description. I'd like to start with lightweight PLA from Polymaker, which according to the datasheet has a density of only 0.8 grams per cubic centimeter. For comparison, normal PLA has a density of around 1.24 grams per cubic centimeter. Low weight. LW for short filaments are offered by several manufacturers and are divided into active and passive foaming materials. With active foaming materials, the print temperature can be used to regulate how much the material foams. The hotter the printing temperature, the greater the amount of additive that vaporizes leading to air bubbles and therefore the lower the density. With passive foaming filaments, you can work with normal PLA settings from around 190 degrees Celsius, which generally leads to better print results. Due to its low density, lightweight PLA is particularly suitable for modeling such as gliders. Next, I'd like to introduce you to thermoactive filament, a material that changes color depending on the temperature. I have thermo red from dust filament which is red at room temperature and changes color to transparent, milk colored when it gets warm. Body heat is enough to change the color. There are different versions from different manufacturers, some also change from green to yellow for example. However, apart from the appealing effects of the components changing color when you hold them in your hand, I have not been able to come up with any specific examples of practical use. So if you have any ideas for applications, please write them down in the comments. Regular PLA is not really tough and therefore breaks very fast and suddenly. For applications such as housings that need to withstand impact loads, PLA is therefore often unsuitable. Tough PLA is offered by various manufacturers under different names and promises significantly higher impact resistance. I have printed an impact test sample from Polymaker Polymax Tough PLA using my standard settings. Here is a sample of a normal PLA for reference. And now the Polymax PLA sample. This clearly shows how tough the material is. According to the manufacturer, the notched impact strength is 9 times higher than that of standard PLA. This makes it, at least for some applications, a good alternative to ABS, as long as the temperatures are not too high. Now let's look at a PLA filament for those of you who want to print visually appealing parts, such as figurines and are looking for a special effect. Co-extrusion filaments combine two colors in one filament, in my case it's blue and red. Due to the hype about two years ago, there are dozens of different types on the market. Mine comes from 3D Jake and is offered there under the name Magic PLA. You can find a link in the video description and I have also listed a few alternatives to other manufacturers and shops. The trick with Magic PLA is that the filament does not rotate inside the extruder during printing so that the color transition remains even. This creates a unique effect on the finished components. Nowadays, every type of filament is available with carbon fibers, including PLA. This often has a positive effect on temperature resistance, strength in the XY direction, rigidity and print bed adhesion, but a negative effect on layer adhesion, meaning strength in the Z direction and impact resistance. However, this mainly depends on the length and quantity of the fibers. Technical filaments such as ABS or PA6CF are often filled with 15 to 30% long fibers. With PLA, the carbon fibers are used more for the appearance, which is why a few short fibers are mixed in. 
In this polylight PLACF, for example, it's 8%. The influence on the mechanical and thermal properties is therefore very low. However, the visual effect is positive as the layer transitions are like blurred. Technical parts in particular look very nice and in my opinion look a bit like SLS parts. However, you should be aware that the fibers are abrasive and you should use a hard nozzle. Standard brass nozzles can wear out very quickly, which means that the diameter increases and the length becomes shorter, meaning that the Z distance has to be constantly readjusted. An interesting material for technical applications is soft PLA, which has properties similar to TPU, but can be printed in a similar way to PLA. Its softness makes it very suitable for shock absorbing bumpers, mobile phone covers or model car tires. If you're interested in more details and mechanical properties, you should watch the test video on Olymp Filler Soft PLA on my German channel Yantech. English captions available. If you're interested in a translated version on this channel, please let me know in the comments. This PLA glows in the dark, which leads to very beautiful effects. It is therefore particularly suitable for toys and decorations such as these stars, but also for warning signs that need to be visible in the dark. I have green glowing PLA from dust filament and one with a rainbow effect from Polymaker. However, you should note that, as with the carbon fiber filaments, a hardened nozzle should be also used here. This is due to the abrasive particles that lead to the glow effect. Depending on the manufacturer, it may even be recommended to use a 0.6 mm nozzle to prevent clogging. With this green glowing PLA from dust filament, however, everything went smooth with a 0.4 mm tungsten carbide nozzle. I found this fun modification of the classic emergency exit sign on printables and had to print it out straight away. The sign is not for my workshop, but for the U10 makerspace in my region. Feel free to take a look at their website, their makerspace is currently being set up. Following the trend of faster and faster printers, there are high speed or high flow filaments that are optimized for particularly fast printing. I have Polymaker Polysonic PLA in black here. There is a lot of information and test results at various printing speeds on the manufacturer's website. It says that the material can be printed at speeds of over 300 mm per second. To test this, I downloaded this extrusion test structure from Stefan and increased the flow rate from 10 to 30 cubic millimeters per second using G-code modifiers. It turns out that the hot end and filament have no problems in this range. Apart from that, I didn't notice any problems with the flow of the material in other fast test prints either. An often underestimated alternative to conventionally produced PLA is recycled PLA. So far I have not noticed any significant differences in the mechanical properties. Over the years I've had recycled PLA from Reflow, Prusament and the Recycling Fabric. With Prusament I like the 2 kilo spools because they last a long time and are cheaper. I also like the somewhat imperfect color, a dark gray to black with slight variations. Starlight PLA has a very interesting effect as it changes color depending on the perspective and light. The filament is available in different colors, each of which is based on phenomena in the solar system. I have Comet and Twilight here, for example. Just for the record, there's also a very similar filament of this type from Filamentum called Wizard's Voodoo. I have also printed some very nice components with it over the last few years. I hope you enjoyed this selection of PLA filaments. Feel free to tell me about your filament recommendations in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time here at Yantec Engineering.